Welcome to this instructional video for the Samsung Magic Info Digital Signage Solution. This overview video is part one of a multi-part series aimed at getting you started. Even if you've never used Magic Info before, this video series will guide you through the steps required to get you up and running and will have you operating your digital signage system in no time. The Magic Info solution has a number of components, so we'll first describe each one and explain how they all fit together as part of a complete system. Magic Info players are dedicated computers that turn your sound, image and video files into content on your signage displays. Many Samsung displays include an embedded player referred to as S-players, so often the only hardware required is the displays themselves. In fact, a basic Magic Info system can be operated by simply using the files from a USB storage device plugged directly into the S-player embedded in the display. Magic Info isn't just for S-players though. It also supports a range of setback box and plug-in module PCs sold by Samsung. So even displays without embedded S-players can be part of a Magic Info system. Players can be arranged either as single displays or as groups of players together in a video wall display configuration. Simple rectangular video walls can be created using nothing more than the embedded S-player and DisplayPort loop cables between displays. More complex arrangements can also be created, though these require a networked Magic Info system and S-players running premium S licenses, both of which will be explained later in this video. For more advanced systems where centralised management is desired, a Magic Info server can be established on any Windows PC connected to displays over a local network or via the internet. The Magic Info server software acts as a content management system, providing an array of features including storage and scheduling of signage content, basic authoring of playlist and content layouts, remote management of connected displays, user access permissions, and much more. For content creators, more comprehensive layout and arrangement tools are available using Magic Info Author software, noting that there are separate packages dedicated to authoring content for either single display or video wall applications. For a Magic Info system with all these components, the workflow would be, the author software creates the content and publishes it to the Magic Info server. The server schedules the content and delivers it to the players. The players accept the content and play according to the schedule. Now that we've discussed the main functional components, we need to discuss software licenses and the differences between them. Each Magic Info player must have a valid software license before it can operate. For S players, there are two types of licenses, light and premium. If you intend to operate your Magic Info system as standalone players without a server, you can have as many players as you like running premium or light with no additional costs. If you intend to operate a networked Magic Info system, however, you need to be aware of the capabilities of each license type. Magic Info Lite is intended to work with small-scale network systems that are used to display pre-built media content. That is, one media file at a time in an order determined by the schedule. Up to 25 Lite players can be connected to a Magic Info server at no cost. Licenses must be purchased for any additional players. Magic Info Premium is intended for larger scale operations that require more complex content authoring capability and the means to handle more types of content. For example, where multiple content elements need to be displayed simultaneously. A license